G'day, Chris here, and this is a video for other, any other Neotech 2 owners um, who might be trying to keep bugs out of the top of their helmet going in through these two vents up here. Um, I love my Neotech 2, it's a lovely helmet, but I'm constantly getting uh, little creepy crawlies crawling around on the top of my bald head inside of my helmet, which is very off-putting. I've gotten to the point where I just keep having to pull over a stop and take my helmet off, pull the liner out, get the bugs out, and then carry on. So um, yeah, my plan is um, <clears throat> my plan is to actually use some of this, which is <clears throat> from an old um, uh, swimming pool scoop where the frame died. I just cut the material out. This is good because each one of those little weaves is actually like a welded point together, so it's actually um, a decent material in itself. So the plan is to put some of this under there. Um, there are a couple of videos online showing how to remove this top vent piece. Uh, for the Neotech, I've actually just done mine. Um, the process is very similar for the Neotech too. You have to be gentle with it, but um, it comes off best if you move the vent into the central position. There's three little click points on here. If you move it into the central position, you can get your fingers under the front of it and just gently pull it up from the front. You'll hear some clicks. It's not, well, mine, mine didn't break any tabs. You can see there, there's two tabs at the front and two tabs at the rear of the, um, of the cover. Um, and they're just, they're just gently, um, so if you pull up in the middle, uh, gently at the front first and then at the back, you can, you can pop that off. Um, that's at your own risk. Clearly, if you end up snapping tabs, please don't, uh, expect me to, uh, care. Um, once you get under there, then, um, you can actually start to see the, the top area is, is mounted with three small screws. Um, so I'm going to just take that off and see where I can lay this mat. That may actually be enough for me to slide that mesh piece under. I may not have to figure out how that last final blue bit clips. Okay, so those final parts are just stuck with a little sticky pad. A little sticky pad there, a double-sided sticky pad. Okay, so this is how that top part looks. It was just a, a sticky pad on each side. One of them ended up on the helmet, the other one ended up on there, but they'll they'll be reusable. And you can, you can see here how much um, how much rubbish I've got in the vents already. So <clears throat> I'll be blowing and cleaning them out as part of this. Excellent. Okay, so I've just cut a piece of this material out, just the right size to fit across the vents and actually be held in, in place by the two screws which will go through those two holes behind it. So having taken this off, um, I'm pretty confident then that I can get that to fit nicely back on and to squash the, the mesh down into those vent holes with these little lips here that help to seal and obviously keep this thing um, reasonably waterproof when you're riding. <clears throat> so yeah, um, assembly now. Okay, so just hold lightly in position with the sticky tape, which is on either side without the screws in there yet. You can see the vents now being guarded by my little mesh on the way down. Um, and I've, I can just see the mesh also through the two screw holes there. So I know that it'll be held um, in place quite nicely by that too. All back together and working. No damage to the top slider. Um, also because it's underneath, there's nothing in the way at all of, um, of the movement or of the vent bits closing, so that's all good. <coughs> and uh, yeah, it should, it should actually be Probably the best the best option there to stop these bits coming down and in and crawling around in my head. So I don't know why they didn't do this. I sort of feel that they they owed it to us to do probably a little more um, in there than they did. Um, anyway, that's my only complaint with this whole helmet. So um, now that that's fixed, hopefully life will be good. Cheers. Have fun.